The organizers of South Korea's World Scout Jamboree are promising to salvage the event despite a record heat wave. Thousands of scouts are leaving the coastal campsite, moving to nearby hotels. More than 600 of the 43,000 scouts have suffered heat-related illnesses at the event that is scheduled to last the week. Fox's Christina Coleman reports. A brutal heat wave blanketing the Buon region of South Korea isn't stopping tens of thousands of scouts from coming together, representing 158 countries. South Korea made the decision Saturday to press on with hosting the World Scout Jamboree, despite warnings about the extreme temperatures and calls to cut it short. Hundreds of teenagers are experiencing heat-related illnesses, and the government is stepping in. The organizing committee will continue to work with government ministries. The World Scout Committee and the Korea Scout Committee to protect the participants from the heat wave as much as possible and make it a safe event. Described as the world's largest youth camp, scouts from all over the world attend the Jamboree every four years with different countries taking turns hosting the event. South Korea is attempting to save the Jamboree by spending millions of dollars to improve camp conditions, adding water trucks, air-conditioned spaces, and bringing in medics. With temperatures hitting 100 degrees, it's proved too much for some, and parents worldwide are expressing worries. Scouts from the U.S., Britain, and Singapore are pulling out of the campsite altogether, citing safety concerns, and are moving to nearby hotels. This isn't what we signed up for. This isn't what we're expecting. And, and I know Mother Nature is unpredictable, and we can't do anything about the heat, but it sounds like the problems with this go way beyond the heat. Um, there's not enough food, there's not enough water. Local media reports in South Korea are calling this situation a national disgrace given the time this country had to prepare. Reporting in Los Angeles, Christina Coleman, Fox News.